As we continue today with our Hiker Trailer Build Series, we're going to give you a brief overview of how we mounted our 270 awning and our shower slash privacy room. Stay tuned. Basically took this bracket, slid this bracket in as far as it can go to the, towards the trailer. Darchi has this little notch out here. So that little area there, we're just basically resting the awning right up to that kink. So it's as flush as it can get. And we're gonna have to go outside and open it up so we can get our ending and we can tighten all our hardware down. Wendy's using a ratchet. <laughs> Sure. Yep, I'm good. There we go. Now just to stay on. Isn't that amazing how that ratchet works? Works very nicely. <laughs> Here's this one. Is that one going to be too long? Let's see. They provide you with some nice brackets here. Um, all the hardware is included. One thing we had to do is we had to do a little modification with the rack. Would have been nice if the rack was forward just a couple inches. Um, we got to make sure we got enough clearance to cover the back. So we'll see how that works. And yeah, I think this project is complete. It's on to the shower room. So when you're looking to mock up how to mount your shower room, Night's Ties, another idea for the Night Eyes Ties. Um, we're just tying the bar on so we can kind of play around with it. It uh, acts like a giant clamp, so just so we can get an idea of the length of the pole we want. We're not only looking to mount the shower room on here, but potentially some other accessories. Maybe having some U-hooks here so you can hang things off, whether it's for drying or if it's for hanging some lights, a lantern, um, multitude of different things. So playing around how long over the crossbars do we want it to be. Okay, mocked up the shower room on the new trailer. So is it gonna run into the fender too much is our biggest question, I guess. Right, be careful, because you're not on real well. Yeah. So we got a two bolt, or a two bar system here to support these L brackets. So we need to have Good support on both of them because of the distance between here and here. In order to get it out far enough, you got to remember your XL has a really wide fender and I think it's going to cause it to run into it. Yeah. Um, all right. A couple things. With the trailer being taller and me not getting any taller along with it, it made it really hard to get everything in here and rolled up and closed up. So instead of the bracket, this L going up, I think we're gonna turn it over and have the L pointing down so that this can be just a little bit shorter. So we'll give that a try and see how that works. And then I think we're gonna need to do it on the third and fourth so that we can get out a little bit further away from the fender. Yep. So we're just about to the end of the trailer. Okay. Um, I can go a little bit more this way. I think the more we go this way, the better, right? Because it's right. away from that. And a 270 doesn't come all the way around anyways. So let's overhang it just a little bit. And if we have to go in yeah, well, two inches, here. if we go in, if we have to push it two inches, then that would push it two inches here. So right? want this over just a little further, just in yeah, case. Maybe. Yep, I think that's probably a good spot. Okay. Just as long as we know where the bracket has to be, like mark both sides of the black, and we can get it to work. All right. We're getting close, guys. 
Two more holes. Double bar is gonna give it double stability. Just got them from Lowe's. These little buggers are pricey now. They were, what, 40 bucks a piece now? Mm -hmm. They're or $80 for a combination. Plus then you gotta get the plugs and you gotta paint it and all that kind of stuff. You definitely wanna have two anchor spots. I can shake this whole trailer off this L bracket. We originally had it facing up like this to bolt it here, but Wendy was on her tiptoes. Okay, got it mounted back up, got our bars on, and Wendy's just doing the final tightening yep. of the, the bracket. Um, doing the final tightening of the L bracket to the back of the awning. Then we're gonna do a test fit. And we'll see how it works. Fingers crossed. That's looking much better. And the height is much better. I can actually reach things. Yes. So, ouch. We'll tighten. Yeah. But it's better for this bottom bar. Yep. We had it in a little bit further. That bottom bar didn't know what to do with itself. So it's still kind of bumping into the wheel, but not as bad as it was. Yeah, I don't think so. it's going to be a problem. It'll be okay. So, so yeah. how much is hitting the fender here? Just it's maybe a bit, not too much. three inches, about where it starts to do the angle. Yeah, oh, it's just, that. Yeah, just past it. So it's probably in about five inches. I feel like there's plenty of space in here though. So I yeah. don't think we need to go back any further. No, and because we've got it out a good, how far? Five inches, six inches? Mm -hmm. I think it was about four and a half, five. Yeah. We are out. Yeah, about five inches. About five inches, yeah. yeah. Now, <laughs> as far as, is there gonna be any flex there? Kind of? Mm, not really. No solid? Yeah. Good, that's the big thing. Yeah. Not to be solid and not go anywhere. So we're gonna try it like that. We're gonna see how it goes. We gotta take all the parts down and get them painted and we'll put everything back together. We finally got this accomplished. Uh, if you're ordering a 2022 trailer, anything from this point on from this video, make sure you specify you're putting shower room on and you want the bars to be long. Um, Hiker now for aesthetics, they are cutting the bars short and plugging them. And it does give it a nice clean look. The problem we ran into is we weren't aware of this change and we could not get our shower room to fit our current configuration. Normally, if you saw on the old gray trailer. Wow. We slipped and dropped the ratchet. So normally on the old trailer, we had just a standard bar that we put one across from rack to rack and we mounted and clamped the 23-0 onto that bar. This configuration, we ended up having to go and put on two bars. Basically, the only reason we did that is to get these L brackets that Wendy is tightening up the backs of the 23-0. We had to get these L brackets and we had to go to the last two holes so we could get the whole shower room away from the trailer. This gave us plenty of room so that we can, are you waiting for me? I am. <laughs> this gave us plenty of room by pulling it away from the trailer that the whole box shape of the 23-0 shower room could come down and not interfere with the fender. Um, that's a big deal. You got to get it away from the trailer if you're going to mount it to the trailer because otherwise it's going to rub the fender and you can't access it. The zipper for the 230 is against the trailer, but this is a great product and we get a lot of use out of this. Mm -hmm. so. All right, you got that ratchet? There you I'm go. Finish tightening this up. So we just snug up these last nuts and washers to the back of the bracket. Make sure you use locking nuts. And we'll give it a try this weekend because we're going to get out and do some camping. All right, last thing we got to do is add a final touch. And that is these little square covers. So I'm just going to tap those into the bars, kind of cleans it up and gives the bars a clean look and So awning mod, take 
your flap from the front of your trailer and move it to the back. Now we've just completely sealed this whole area by adding the flap. It'll keep the rain from dripping down. I should have done this yesterday before the rain. Should have. Look at how easy that was. So literally, Wendy said there wasn't a screw or anything. They've redesigned the end here. It used to be a big rubber cap and there was a screw that went in here. So now what they do is this material just feeds into a channel. So you literally you just push the material in, pull it back a little bit. Pull it back a little bit. Okay, stop, go back, go forward. Oh, stop. Is that where you need to be? Yeah. Okay. It just slides right in, that easy. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> that was so simple. Yeah. I was expecting to take a little bit more time than that. And in two minutes it was done, but that will nicely fill in that hole. Yep. So I like it. And with this morning's rainstorm, that would have been nice to have. We should have done this one yesterday, especially <laughs> with how easy it was. It wouldn't have taken any time. Yeah. And this project's complete. So thanks for joining us on this hiker build series. Thanks for watching. Make sure you get out and do some camping. We'll see you on the next one.